There's Dave and he just popped in. What's up, dude? I'm oh with, yeah. I'm with Brooke. I'm getting lunch right now. I'm doing this video again. I just wanted to show everybody what it looks like to add somebody in. So. That's cool. Hey, look, yeah. look what I just showed them real quick. Over the last year, live streaming for churches has been such an important part of spreading the gospel. And if you're like me, you're still trying to figure out what's the best way. That doesn't mean we're not live streaming right now. It's just we want to continue to, to step our game up and up the production level of what we're doing. And I feel like Restream.io helps us do that, not only by allowing us to take our live stream to multiple platforms, which they do, and we take our stream to both YouTube and Facebook simultaneously. But one thing I really like about Restream that I found, they have a what was called Restream Studio, now called Restream Live Studio Pro. I really like this because it gives you some tools that you may have on some very professional equipment that you, you can have right here within Restream. And also, it competes against other companies that allow you to like bring in guests to your live stream. So there's a lot of capabilities with the Restream Live Studio. So I wanna show you that. Now what I wanna do in this video is like turn over every rock, press every button, see what everything can do, what this has the ability to do and how it might be able to help your ministry and whatever application you wanna go live for. All right, so let's get right into it. Once you open Restream and log in, kind of set all that stuff up, you'll see a dashboard. This is your dashboard. You have destinations on the left, and on the right, we have ready to go live. If I wanna go right into Live Studio, just click on this red button right here. As soon as it comes up, right here in this screen where you see the polka dots, that's just the background to have up. That's where your feed's gonna be, that's your preview. And right up here at the top right-hand corner of your preview is the go live button. If you've already set up your channels on the destinations like we talked about, as soon as you press that go live button, what you see in this preview is what your audience will see when you go live. So don't hit that until you're ready, but let's keep going. All these buttons over here are your menu buttons that will take you out of live studio, so don't worry about those. So with that said, we're gonna start right here at the, all these little circles underneath your main screen. If you wanna get your audio, video, and whatever else ready before you start clicking these buttons, you have to go to the settings button. So this is where we're gonna start. Click the settings button. For my video input, I'm using a cam link. The cam links are incredible. Um, so if you haven't used those before, there's a link below to check that out. They're awesome. So uh, if you have other interfaces or an NDI video input or whatever you may have, uh, you can use those as well. If you do want access to be able to change your video resolution beyond 720p, you gotta go down to these advanced settings and then enable this uh, live stream quality. And then you can click on full high definition 1080p and then up here where it says video resolution then you can actually click on that and change it to a 1080p at 30 frames per second if you want to do that so then audio input i'm using my cam link so the audio is going to this mic right here and feeding through the camera and then back through the cam link into the computer so that's what i'm going to use and then underneath audio input you see audio output if you do want to go to your airpods or whatever you know or speakers in the room or whatever you want to go to you, that's what you would use to select those. And then uh, working your way down, it has audio preferences. You have echo cancellation, noise suppression, stereo audio input, and then you have high resolution audio. So what I would recommend you do is to play with these ahead of time. So that way you don't click it and then it noise suppress and start taking out audio that you don't want it to take out. So play with that ahead of time, do some practice streams. So once we are done with our settings, we can go ahead and close that out, get that out of the way. And now when you click your microphone button, you should be able to see in this top kind of right hand corner, you should start being able to see the green uh, lines, little dashes there start to pop up, you know, kind of like an audio meter kind of thing. It does give you, now let's stay right here for a second. It does give you the ability to turn down each individual input individually with this little toggle right here. The next button over is your enable camera button. So this is, again, we've already set that up to be able to enable the camera that I want it to be. So as soon as I press this button, you should be able to see my face on this screen. There it is right there. What's up? The next button over to the right of that one is your sh share screen button. I can't say that. I've tried to say that like seven times now. Share screen, if you click that, you have the ability to share your entire screen. You just have to click on that and click share. Let's go over here though. Application window, so if you wanna only share like this application's window, you can click on that and then share that as your feed. And Or if you just wanna use a tab, like the Chrome tab or, or whatever, you can click on that tab and then share only what's on that tab. I wanna share the entire screen just momentarily. 
So you can see how that works. Click on that screen, click share. It'll pull up a feed on the right hand side underneath your main camera feed and to enable that feed, to allow that feed to go on air, to go live, then you just click this little slider toggle button here. And it looks like it automatically pulled that up as our main feed. So this is exactly what your audience would see if I clicked go live right now. This is exactly what you'd see. You'd see my screen being shared and then you would see my face on the right. If I wanted to make these look a little bit different, I could by just pressing all these buttons. So we have a cover, we have half screen. If I had three feeds, you would be able to see that. And we have picture in picture. And then we have, what was that called? Cinema. And then we have thumbnails. So you have all your feeds on the right. So that's kind of how it was ahead of time. So all your feeds on the right and then your whatever is like your main shot on the left. We'll stop sharing screen. All right, so this is a cool button. This button allows you, so your feed's coming in just like I shared the screen and it made a feed underneath my main feed. I can actually add guests as well. Let's go ahead and invite a guest. So I can invite up to 10 guests. So, and then this link is permanent. So basically what that means is if they had this link before, they can enter right in on your stream in the future. So you can refresh that at any time. So I can click on that, copy that. I'm gonna send it over to our friend, David. Of course, he's the pianist on the channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that stream link to him. And if he wants to hop on, he can at any moment. So he can hop on with his phone, with his computer. He could have a full setup like this and hop on. This one right here, this is really neat. This is add a video file. You could click on this to add a video file that's already on your computer so you can add that into your stream as a feed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open video. I have a video on the desktop and this is actually David right here. This is uh, three diminished chords. All right, and so if I wanna play that video on my stream, I can go click on this little slider button here. It's called add to the stream. That's what that is. Oh, of course I wouldn't want it to look like that. Oh, nope, not like that either. Nope. There we go. <laughs> He's a beast. Um, if that video ended, then I can get, mm, come on now. Beautiful. Hey, what's up worship leader? <laughs> so if you wanted to add videos to your stream, that's how you would do that. That's what that button's for, add video file. Um, this right here, connect Zoom, OBS, other apps. You could do that. I do not have the ability to do that with my subscription but I would have to upgrade. But basically what that's saying is using those other apps, you can connect those over to Live Studio and have the other functions that we're about to get into. Now let's go over to the right-hand side. It automatically goes to that chat window screen on the right side. If you're going live to Facebook, YouTube, other places, and people want to like comment or chat into the live stream, it should show up right here. Like this is the, the whole point of this and you can interact with your people right here on Live Studio. I'm gonna switch it to here. This is what this button does. It switches it over to you. And I'm gonna type in a message, I'll see. Great worship leaders are always learning. Yes, they sure are. Learning about live stream a lot lately too. If I wanted to see that message on our live stream, if I wanted to show my viewers what this person said, I can click on that. The top here where it says Worship Leader Hangout, that's the person, that's gonna be their profile name. I can hide that, get rid of that. Restream sent in a chat. They said social comments display here. <laughs> um, now, if you're wondering, I have these colors set up. This color is our color. This is our identical Worship Leader Hangout color. How did we do that? That's over on graphics and we'll get there in just a second. Now some live streams or some churches want to be able to put up little messages here or there. Um, of course we can use ProPresenter and we can use other tools to be able to do this, but Live Studio gives you the option to put in some custom messages. So of course, this would be a good moment to say, if you like what we do here at Worship Leader Hangout, you can subscribe and be you know continually up to date with what's oh there's david he just popped in what's up dude I'm oh getting, yeah i'm with brooke i'm getting lunch right now i'm doing this video again i just wanted to show everybody what it looks like to add somebody in so that's cool 
Hey, look yeah. look what I just showed them real quick. Hang out. It's David, and I'm so excited about today's lesson <laughs> because we're going to learn three. Which video is that? That's the uh, your latest, Three Diminished oh. Chords. Yeah. I don't remember what the title was, though, on YouTube, but that was what the working title was. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. One of your latest. It was on my desktop, so that's what I used. <laughs> gotcha. Well, thanks for like popping in. Thank you. This is the olive green, black. Love this shirt. It has the always learning on the back. <laughs> so. Yeah, I've only seen the shirts in black. I hadn't seen like that color. So I think. Go get you one. All right, bro. All right, I'll see you soon. Food. I'm hungry. Well, I really appreciate you popping in. All right, talk to you later. All right, bye. That's how that would work. So you would invite somebody, they come in, they come right to your stream with their phone, their computer, or whatever else. It's really cool, I like that. So back to our messages, our captions on the actual screen. They come up as lower thirds. And of course, it's still that beautiful worship leader handout, green color. I'll get there, we'll, we'll see how to change that. Of course, you can subscribe if you wanted to follow us on Instagram. <laughs> you could do that as well at WL Hangout. Um, and if you need prayer, call 555. <laughs> I put that in there just to kind of show you that there's a lot of capability to this. And, um, and here's Restream's built-in one that they put. Restream allows you to stream up the, th we know that. Okay, to make one of these custom messages, you know, like you, you can use one of these pre-filled ones because of the other ones that I already did. But we also have a Facebook group, so you can go check out that Facebook group. Of course, it's just Worship Leader Hangout. Uh, just search it as a group on Facebook. You can add that caption. I want to show you guys on the screen. Boom, it looks pretty awesome. That's how that works. If I want to make all this look pretty, eh, I want to go to graphics. And there's a lot more to graphics. And you can do you choose your theme. Um, so it gives you a couple of different themes. Let's click on, so right now we're on default. You saw that. Let's click on news, see what that looks like. And so it's gonna be a, a full lower third, more like a lower fifth. All right, let's go back to graphics, change that to rounded. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like this one. This one's my favorite one. And then here's your primary color. Um, this is the actual color that we use. Uh, you can literally type in the color code that you want to use for your stream. These are these are default graphics. You can use avatar placeholders, um, participants' names. You can have that in there. See, I would type in my name. My name's Chad, and then I can see my name on my screen. If you wanted a logo on your stream, or if you just wanted to pop up a logo occasionally, you can show a logo um, on the top right-hand corner of the stream. At least right now, I don't see that there. you have the ability to change where that logo is on the stream, on your actual feed. So that's pretty cool. They give you the option to, to be able to do that. I'm gonna take that off. And then, of course, to add one, you just hit the Add button, go somewhere in your files, add that on there. Overlay. Um, this gives you an option to overlay anything so you can decide where in that um, 1920 by 1080 frame or you know if you did 4k you can decide anywhere within your frame to put something you would overlay that and whatever you upload is what it's gonna overlay so I decided to upload always learning I could throw that at the end of a stream you know just like great worship leaders always learning boom put that at the end close out my video, boom, that stream looks really nice to end with. Adding video clips is a, a very cool feature. They have some built-in countdowns. Mm. My mic's muted while this is happening. And then I'm back. <laughs> uh, they have some other video elements. All right, you can actually upload your own. It has to meet within a certain file size though. It needs to be, they can do uh, an MP4 up to 150 meg. If I wanted to add a background to my image, say I wanted to take my, my view off, I could actually add, a, change my background. And you saw when Davin came up, this was in the background of our video the instead of it words. just being black you actually see something uh, behind the actual video feeds themselves, which is really nice. And then of course, if you wanted to add your own background, you could, if I wanted to say, I have a picture, I think of worship. Go ahead and open that up. And I can use this picture as my backdrop or my background. I'm gonna show that. And then I can take that off. Boom, right there. Add in this little overlay. So that is your graphic setting. And then you have a setup button over here. 
So this setup button, this is, you can add channels. So this is where you would wanna go to make sure you have all your destinations in place. Say you had multiple destinations and you only wanted to go live on like one or two of them. So I have Worship Leader Hangout set up. I have my church and I can add that in as well. And as soon as I hit that go live button right here, it would go live to both of those YouTube channels at the same time. Of course, Facebook, and that could be, there could be many more that you have on there uh, depending on your subscription level. And that's it, every button on Restream Live Studio, we pressed, we saw what it was, and I really hope that this video has helped you in some way um, to, to really see if Live Studio could be an option for you. There are other platforms out there that offer this kind of thing, but Restream is, is just very good at what they do, especially taking your stream and simultaneously broadcasting that to multiple platforms. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I do wanna thank Restream again for sponsoring today's video. I have links below for you to go check out uh, Restream as a whole to see what it's all about. I also have the other two links for what we talked about today, and then I have the other two videos that I did for Restream that you can check out to see if um, you know it's something that you wanna try. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and remember, great worship leaders are always learning, yeah. I should have had that ready, right here. Boom. All right, see you guys. Thank you. No, I always gotta go. Playing house to sing a home with my soul on the road.